Hey, how's it going? So I think most motorcycle riders here in the US or throughout the whole Northern Hemisphere look forward to the summer riding season. But man, here in Las Vegas, it is freaking hot. Right now, it is 114 degrees and it's supposed to get up to 116, 117 degrees today. I mean, later this week, it's supposed to be 118 degrees, but it is a dry heat. I mean, only 3% humidity. So today is the Copa America soccer quarterfinals. It's uh, Uruguay against Brazil. So my plan for today was to ride the bike on over to Allegiant Stadium to check out the game. But man, with this heat, I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna have to take the Hyundai so I can have some air conditioning for the ride over. Anyways, as you can see, it is already almost 110 degrees here in the garage. But I'm thinking I could tough it out and get some work done on the bike today. It's been a long time since I've done any kind of cleaning up on this bike, any detailing. You can see it's just dirty. I still have some crusty stuff on the exhaust from when I melted my, uh, my side bags on them. I got some scratches here, here, here. The tank needs a good polish. This black area has a bunch of swirl marks I'd like to take care of. So the bike in general just needs a real good cleaning. So I did go ahead and get out all my cleaning supplies and brushes, microfiber towels and things like that. And I also have bought a few other things to work on the motorcycle. Some oil, so I could do an oil change. Don't need it quite yet, but it's coming up soon. couple extra oil filters and some drain plug washers when I do the oil change. Rocker cover seal. That's when I do the valve job to put a new seal on the rocker cover. Or ordered these from Hitchcock Motors over in uh, the UK. And something else that I got that I'm kind of excited to do on the bike as soon as I have some time. Or actually, not the time, the motivation, and that is I did get the uh, this motorcycle dash cam. So it's two cameras, you put one in the front, one in the back, but I am gonna have to figure out how I wanna mount these cameras to the bike. Uh, I do have an idea, but it's a little bit risky. I'm thinking for the front camera, I can mount it right here, just drill a hole right in this headlight cover and have the camera sticking out. Now, as far as the rear camera goes, I'm thinking do the same thing with the rear cowl. Drill a hole right there in the cowl and once again mount it on the inside and have it just barely sticking out. But that is a metal cowl. It wasn't cheap. And I've never actually drilled a metal before, so I'm not quite sure what I would need to do. And I think the tricky part too is I wouldn't be drilling flat on the surface. I would be coming in at an angle since the camera's gonna stick out in that direction. So gonna have to see how that goes. I'm not going to do that today. I do want to think a little bit about how I want to do it, make sure I do it right. So I am going to start detailing the bike and then see how I feel when it comes time to leave for the game because the time I have to leave is actually the hottest part of the day.
Oh, you're good to go. All right, you can park wherever you like. You know, we'll give you shit. You got a motorcycle. So, zero zero game up until the very end, and then because it's a quarterfinals, it can't end in a tie. So, immediately we went into penalty kicks, and Uruguay took the game. Goalie saved two kicks. Pretty impressive. Now, let's see if I can get out of here. That's what happened. During the game at halftime, I was just thinking about uh, the Mirage Casino closing down in a week and a half. And the Mirage is where they have that Cirque du Soleil show uh, called Beatles Love. And it's a show I've always wanted to see, but I always just kind of put it off, you know, just someday, someday I'll check it out. And then as I was sitting there, I was thinking, hold on, wait a minute. If the casino is shutting down, then their theater is going to be shutting down. So that show must only have a few performances left. So I really quick did a search to see how many shows are left. Turns out tonight is the very last performance. So I went online real quick while sitting there in the stands at the Saga game and I was able to snag a ticket for tonight. So I am trying to make my way. Hopefully I get there in time through traffic. It's only two miles away. I'm saying I'll be there about 8.30, 8.32. It is the very last show, so it's a 9.30 show. A friend of mine was in town last weekend with some family, and they went to see a few shows, and uh, Beatles Love was one of them, so I asked her if it was good. She's like, yeah, it's a good show if you're into Beatles music. She's like, I fell asleep. <laughs> good chance to check the uh, X4 and low light situations. see what the self-parking is. This way. Come on. Where is the self-parking? Do a, a loop around the entire place. Only a week and a half left for the Mirage. 
I'm not sure if they're going to tear it down or just renovate it, but it's been bought out by a whole different company. But that was the very last Beatles Love Show. It ran for, I think, 18 years, something like that. But it was a pretty good show. The first half I thought was just okay, but the second half it, it picked up pretty good. It was fairly entertaining. Not as good as O. I think O over at the Bellagio is just a much better, unique show. Take Flamingo. I'm not gonna ride down the whole strip. It is just way too crowded tonight.